Were you close to your father? Yes, I was. Most people just saw a tough businessman who worked hard. Made himself very wealthy. I mean, he was driven, I suppose, but he was vulnerable like anyone else. And I loved him. I'm sorry. Please don't apologize. And he loved me. He accepted me for who I am and well, you'd have done anything for me. My my, what a touching scene. Chris, you gave me a shock. What the hell are you doing here? I asked Angie to come. Hey, we haven't come here for an hour. You stay out of this. You're supposed to be out there finding the scum who did this, not standing around cuddling with my sister. For God's sake, Chris, I, I was upset. It's OK. No, it isn't. It was a cheap remark, and I'm sorry you had to hear it. Have you got a minute, Chris? What brings you here? Well, take long. Go on, then. You had no right to speak to Angie the way you did this morning. I had every right. She should have been doing her job. She was giving me some support, which is more than you've done. Support? Is that what you call it? trying to find out whether the WPC was ACDC. You think that's funny? No, I suppose you must be missing your little trucker. Dad's grave was trashed because of you. I've been trying to come to terms with that, trying to convince myself that even you couldn't have done something so rotten that someone would do such a vile thing. But I've been wasting my time. Are you finished? Yes, I have finished. I've finished with you. I'm fed up with making excuses for you. You're a selfish, insensitive bully. If you disappear off the face of this earth, no one would miss you. I know you look for the best in people, and Chris is your brother, but something like this was bound to happen sooner or later. You can't go on treating people the way he does and get away with it indefinitely. You're right. I spent my entire adult life defending him, justifying his behaviour. I've had enough. I don't care what happens to him. 